Ever wonder what it's like to dream of hitting the jackpot, only to find out the reality is even stranger than fiction? The world of lotteries is filled with incredible tales that are as wild as they are unexpected. These are the stories of 10 lottery winners whose experiences defy belief. Let's begin. Number 10. Siblings Battle Over $32 Million Lottery Win For over 30 years, Sam Adad and Mike DeTore, the barber and client turned friends, bonded over haircuts and lottery tickets. They'd buy tickets together, sticking them on the mirror in Mike's shop like Lucky Charms. Sam, a self-proclaimed lottery enthusiast, even celebrated past wins with garbage bags full of tickets. In June 2008, their luck finally struck a gold. A Lotto 649 ticket they bought together scored them a cool 32 mil. The win was a family affair, with wives, kids, and even extended family joining the celebratory limousine ride to claim their prize. Among them was Sam's sister, Layla Nahas. Here's where things get messy. Sam shared some winnings with family, including Layla. However, the big question arose, who paid for the winning ticket, and who deserved the larger slice of the pie? Layla claims she chipped in a dollar towards the lucky ticket. According to her, Sam visited her store just before the draw and mentioned playing their usual numbers. She says they agreed to split the cost, and she even wrote down the numbers on a slip of paper. Layla assumed Sam won with another ticket when the news broke, as he often played multiple ones. It wasn't until two months later that she stumbled upon the slip with the winning numbers, sparking the realization that she was owed a third of the fortune. Layla confronted Sam at his home, but things turned sour. Sam denies her story entirely, from even being at her store to any agreement about sharing the ticket. He claims there was no deal and that he never threatened his sister. The once close siblings haven't spoken since. Layla, furious, sued for a third of the winnings. This legal battle could see Mike's share shrink too if the court sides with Layla. With lawyers involved, both sides clammed up. This story serves as a cautionary tale for lottery pool players, especially family and friends. Communication is key. Treat it like a business transaction. If you're chipping in, get proof, a copy of the ticket in this case, to avoid a future family feud. Number 9. Man Gets 23 Years for Robbing Illinois Lottery Winner Michael hit the lottery jackpot, and his life was about to change for the better. Or so he thought. One September night, everything went sideways. A scream from a friend ripped him from sleep. Outside, shadows moved, two people trying to break in. Panic surged through Michael as the figure's faces hidden behind masks burst through the door. A fight broke out, fists and shouts filling the air. Then the nightmare got worse. Michael was shot four times, two in his chest. He spent six scary days in the hospital, barely hanging on. Why would anyone do this? Greed fueled by a nasty rumor. Michael's friend, Carmine Palella, a relative of Michael's good friend, told a big lie. He convinced someone, Robert English, that Michael was hiding his lottery winnings at home. Turns out Palella wasn't much of a friend. The police put the pieces together. They recorded Palella admitting he drove the bad guys to Michael's house, basically pointing the finger at him. English, a crook with a long history of stealing and hurting people, said he brought a gun and fired it. Not a good dude. Finally, some good news. English got locked up for a long time, 23 years for trying to kill Michael, breaking into his house and hurting him with a gun. But for Michael, the scars weren't just on his body. He couldn't trust anyone anymore, especially not his friend's family. The whole thing left a big, gaping hole in his heart. Michael's story is a scary one. It shows how even good luck can turn bad. That big lottery win, as supposed to be a dream come true, made him a target. It's a warning. Greed and violence can ruin everything, turning something good into a horrible mess. Number 8. Idaho's Biggest Lottery Winner Knew He Would Win Brad Duke held a piece of paper more valuable than anything ever found in Idaho. 
Not a gold nugget, but a winning lottery ticket worth a whopping 220.3 mil. He found it not buried in some dusty corner, but casually stashed away in a Jackson's convenience store near Orchard. This is where it was hiding? Brad joked to a lottery official holding up the ticket. Someone must have searched for hours. Seven years had passed since that fateful day, but the memory was still fresh. But here's the twist. Brad doesn't believe in luck. He insists his win wasn't some random chance, but the result of pure determination. Brad said, Winning wasn't a surprise. I knew it was coming. He wasn't just talking crazy. Apparently, Brad had a premonition. He even wrote himself a check for a million dollars with earn slash one scribbled in the memo section. Number games were his passion, Powerball his hobby, and victory was his ultimate goal. Well, Brad hit the jackpot all right, and his life transformed. He started a foundation for kids, snagged the fanciest road bike on the market, and even chartered a helicopter to whisk him and a friend to a Canadian glacier for a downhill mountain bike adventure. Despite arriving at the convenience store in a sleek Porsche, Brad wasn't blinded by his newfound wealth. He stressed the importance of seeking help when faced with such a life-changing sum. He advised future lottery winners, find the right people to help you manage your money. Who knows, maybe one of the lottery ticket buyers standing behind Brad that day took his words to heart. After all, the Powerball jackpot was a cool 250 mil at the time. Brad's story offers a refreshing perspective. It's not just about luck, but about believing in yourself and planning for success. And who knows, uh, maybe a little bit of both when it hurt. Number 7. New York Brothers Claim $5 Million Imagine winning the lottery, but what if you kept it a secret for six years? That's exactly what happened to two brothers in Syracuse, New York. Andy and Niall Ashkar bought a lucky scratch-off ticket at their family's convenience store in 2006. The prize? A whopping $5 million. But instead of cashing it right away, they sat on it for a surprising six years. Lottery officials were baffled. Why wait so long to claim such a life-changing sum? According to Andy, he worried a sudden windfall might disrupt his life especially his upcoming marriage. He also wanted to share his good fortune with his brother, Niall, as a token of appreciation. News of the winning ticket spread like wildfire when it was finally announced. Sarah, Niall's wife, was overwhelmed with calls from excited family and friends. The brothers, however, preferred to stay out of the spotlight and declined to comment further. The delay also raised eyebrows for lottery officials. It's standard procedure to investigate any winnings claimed by a relative of the seller. Thankfully, after a thorough check, everything seemed legit. No funny business with barcodes or hidden scams. This story is a reminder that even with good luck, big decisions need careful planning. The Ashkar brothers' caution paid off, and they got to enjoy their windfall on their own terms. It also shows the importance of strong family bonds, with Andy choosing to share his wealth with his brother. So the next time you buy a lottery ticket, remember this story. While cashing in right away might be tempting, there's no harm in taking some time to think about how you'd handle a life-changing win. Number 6. Lottery Tracks Down $50 Million Winner Talk about dumb luck! Catherine Jones of Hamilton, Canada almost threw away a chance at 50 mil. Here's why. She bought a Lotto Max ticket, but completely forgot about it. This wasn't just any ticket, it held the winning numbers for a massive 50 mil jackpot. The crazy part was that Catherine didn't even check the numbers. Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation OLG officials showed up at her doorstep with the news, leaving her speechless. I thought they had the wrong person, she admitted. The ticket itself vanished without a trace, despite a frantic search of her house. Thankfully, OLG wasn't about to let this massive prize go unclaimed. They launched a months-long investigation, determined to find the rightful winner. Here's where things get interesting. They knew exactly when, where, and how much Catherine had spent at the shopper's drug mart where she bought the ticket. Even better, the purchase was made with a credit card, a detail that proved crucial. 
Since Catherine rarely used a credit card for lottery tickets, this one purchase stood out. Investigators even found video footage of her buying the ticket at the exact time the winning numbers were drawn. This was the first time OLG ever tracked down a winner. Normally, it's the other way around. Finally, after a year of waiting, Catherine was officially declared the winner. The windfall hasn't changed Catherine's life dramatically yet. She's still deciding whether to quit her engineering job, but with 50 mil in the bank, the options are wide open. This story is a reminder, never give up hope, even on lost lottery tickets. And for lottery officials, it proves the power of meticulous investigation and a little bit of luck. Number 5. Five Friends Won Lottery After a Decade Forget the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. For five friends from Yonkers, New York, a pot of mega millions, millions became their lucky charm. These aren't any typical lottery players. This close-knit group had been pulling their money for lottery tickets for a decade, a tradition built on friendship and a shared dream of striking it rich. Finally, their loyalty paid off in a big way. It all started with Edgar Lopez, a 52-year-old limo driver. As it was his turn to grab the tickets, he swung by Yonkers Grocery and Convenience and snagged a Mega Millions quick pick. Little did he know, this simple act would change their lives forever. The following weekend, Edgar gathered his friends with a twinkle in his eye. Something amazing happened, he announced, the excitement bubbling over. You guessed it, the quick pick Edgar bought held the winning numbers for a whopping 106 million jackpot. Suddenly, the group of hard-working individuals, Manuel Hernandez, another limo driver, Acela Hernandez, a housekeeper, Miguel Acosta, a business owner, and Angela Pajas, a daycare teacher, saw their dreams become reality. They were all millionaires, thanks to their years of sticking together. The winning numbers were 5, 11, 31, 50, and 67, with mega ball number 14. The smart choice, a one-time lump sum payout. Uh, this meant roughly 13.1 mil for each person before taxes. Angela, the lone New Jersey resident, got a bit of a tax break thanks to the Garden State's lower rates. She walked away with a cool 8.67 mil, a little more than her Yonkers friends who received 8.47 mil each. This story is a heartwarming reminder of the power of friendship and perseverance. For 10 years, these friends chipped in, hoping for a lucky break, and when it finally came, they celebrated together, their bond strengthened by their shared fortune. Number 4. Wisconsin Couple Won Lottery Again Remember Verlin and Judith Adamson, the Mount Horeb couple who won a cool 350 grand in the super cash lottery? Well, hold on to your hats, because their story gets crazier than a lucky clover with four leaves. It all started when they walked into lottery headquarters with two winning tickets. Lottery officials were happy for them, but a little surprised. It wasn't common for a single household to win in the same drawing. Little did they know, the Adamsons were just getting warmed up. A few days later, Verlin and Judith returned, uh, this time with two more winning tickets. It turns out they weren't just sharing the jackpot with other lucky players. They were the only winners. Andrew Boege, a lottery spokesperson, was speechless. He said, This is completely unique. Winning twice is rare, but winning all four prizes? Practically unheard of. The secret behind their incredible win? Verlin, ever the strategist, had a formula for picking numbers. Whether it was pure genius or just a lucky hunch, it certainly paid off. The Adamsons, however, preferred to keep a low profile, declining interviews and letting their lawyer speak for them. Judith, still in shock, confessed, We've been playing these numbers for years. Their persistence finally paid off in a major way. After taxes, they walked away with a life-changing 995 grand. This story is a true lottery miracle. It reminds us that sometimes, a little bit of strategy and a whole lot of perseverance can lead to incredible rewards. So maybe it's time to dig out your old lottery tickets and see if your luck has changed. You never know, you might just be a secret lottery whiz waiting to be discovered. Number 3. Powerball Lottery Win Causes Student to Miss Exam 
Imagine winning the lottery, a life-changing $340 million jackpot. It sounds like a dream, right? Well, for Curtis West, a college freshman in Oregon, it meant missing an important exam. Curtis's parents, Steve and Carolyn West, were the lucky winners, and the news sent shockwaves through their family. The excitement was overwhelming, and Curtis ended up missing a midterm at Oregon State University. He wrote in an email, I just couldn't sleep, everything happened so fast, and I'm struggling to adjust to this new reality. While Curtis exchanged emails with a reporter, his parents remained silent. Lottery officials, concerned about rumors of a minor buying the ticket, which is illegal, reached out to the West before they contacted them. And thankfully, Steve assured them the ticket was bought by an adult, but wouldn't reveal the buyer's identity. The store manager confirmed they check IDs for suspicious purchases. Meanwhile, Curtis, a straight-A student before the win, is getting back on track with his studies. This feels unreal, he wrote. It's hard to believe something like this can happen. This story is a reminder that even good fortune can come with unexpected challenges. While the West star undoubtedly excited, they're also navigating the sudden spotlight and its impact on their lives. It's a balancing act, celebrating a massive win while keeping things normal, especially for Curtis, who has to catch up on his studies. Number 2. Lottery Not Paying Winners Because of Programming Error Imagine the joy of winning the lottery on Christmas Day. Well, that's what happened to Nicole Coggins and Shawana Ladd from South Carolina. But this story isn't any typical rags-to-riches tale. It's a case of a festive glitch gone wrong. Nicole, feeling lucky, bought a holiday cash ticket and added an extra play. Little did she know, a computer error was causing the game to malfunction. Instead of needing three Christmas trees in a row to win, any ticket with the same symbol in all nine spots became a winner. Excited by her win, Nicole bought even more tickets, each one a guaranteed winner according to the glitching machine. She even convinced her mother-in-law to play, and together they racked up nearly 18 grand in winnings from various stores. Dreams of Disney World danced in their heads, but their Christmas miracle turned sour. When Nicole tried to cash in, the machine spat out a message, transaction not allowed. The glitch had been caught, and their winning tickets were invalid. Dozens of others faced the same disappointment. The stores hadn't done anything wrong, and the players were simply caught in the crossfire of a technical error. Nicole, frustrated and heartbroken, vented, we didn't do anything wrong. They should honor the tickets or give us our money back. The South Carolina Education Lottery quickly suspended the game and promised an investigation. Though the immediate Christmas cheer was dashed, Nicole held on to hope. I'll always have my family, she said. And that's the most important thing in the world. This story is a reminder that sometimes even good fortune can be short-lived. Number 1. 11 million dollar lottery win saves couple from bankruptcy. Imagine going from struggling financially to holding an 11.25 million dollar lottery check. That's exactly what happened to Craig and Janet Gossett of Manuka, Illinois. Their story is a heartwarming mix of second chances, small town kindness, and a love for a little house on the prairie. The Gossets started their week in Chicago, not for sightseeing, but to claim their life-changing prize. After a decade of living paycheck to paycheck, they were now multi-millionaires. Craig always joked about winning the lottery, and now the joke was on them, in the best way possible. Craig, a truck driver, and Janet, a disability retiree, were longtime Manuka residents, known for their generosity. Janet battled with and beat cervical cancer, and despite not having children themselves, they looked out for elderly neighbors, running errands and helping in any way they could. However, life hadn't been easy. Financial struggles led them to consider bankruptcy, which became a distant memory with their windfall. Their winning ticket wasn't a special combination like anniversaries or birthdays. This time, it was a lucky, quick pick from a gas station in neighboring Morris. The Gossets, grounded and humble, wanted the money to enhance their lives without changing who they were. Their first priority was clearing their debts. Then they planned to buy a house in Morris and finally take that dream vacation to Minnesota. Specifically, Walnut Grove, the town made famous by Little House on the Prairie. 
Their generosity continued even after their win. They offered a friend free rent in their mobile home, and Craig planned to fix up his old truck and gift it to his brother. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our next one. Don't forget to subscribe to Millionaire Post for more content like this.